What's up, Minky Blog fam? My name is Miranda. Today, we are going to celebrate Thanksgiving a little early here at Liberty Tree Tavern in Magic Kingdom. Liberty Tree Tavern is an OG Magic Kingdom restaurant and opened with the rest of the park October 1st, 1971. Liberty Tree Tavern was originally a character dining experience, complete with Mickey and Minnie in their finest colonial apparel. While the famous pair no longer make appearances at the restaurant, the incredible cast members still have on their bonnets and ruffles uh, to keep the authenticity. Here we celebrate Thanksgiving all year round with classic Thanksgiving dishes like pot roast, turkey, mashed potatoes, seasonal vegetables, and so much more. This restaurant is located here in Liberty Square. In keeping with that colonial theme with the rest of Liberty Square, the Liberty Tree Tavern is named for Boston's famous historical landmark, the Liberty Tree. Hence the lovely tree <laughs> as the logo option for the Liberty Tree Tavern. So I'm already here and checked in on the My Disney Experience app, and so they will send me a text when it is ready. Also to note, you do not have to check in on the My Disney Experience app. If you do not want to, you can check in with the cast member at the front of the door. I just checked in because it looked like she wasn't there at the time, but she is there checking people in. I'm here for lunch, so I'm like right at the beginning of the hours, and their hours start at 11 a.m. for lunch. Good, how are you? We have sat down and I wanted to talk about the room. So I asked our uh, cast member that sat us what room we were in because there are six different dining rooms themed to early figures in US history. And they are George Washington, Betsy Ross, Paul Revere, which is what we are in, uh, John Paul Jones, Thomas Jefferson, and Benjamin Franklin, which I think is super cool. I can't believe there's six different rooms in this building. It doesn't look like it from the outside, but it's actually quite massive. I love it. And his photo is actually up top above my table, actually. So he is right there, which I think is so cool. The history and the details and intention, the details that they put into these rooms uh, for this theming purpose. Walt was a lover of U.S. American history, so he definitely did really well with this land. This space definitely gives you a sense of like a homey atmosphere with all these different knickknacks and the wooden walls. It just makes you feel very relaxed and it's air conditioned, which is great <laughs> for Magic Kingdom as it is super duper hot during the day. To start, we have the uh, garlic herbed rolls and then we also have this decoration salad. It is uh, mixed greens, apples, cranberries, and cheese with our house made dressing. It looks delicious. While I'm nibbling on this before I get to that, I wanted to talk about the drinks and uh, alcohol options. So here at Magic Kingdom, it is a dry park except for these sit down restaurants like this one. So here you can grab different types of beers and wines and that's about all that they have alcoholic beverage wise for this restaurant in particular. And you can also get things like Cokes, lemonade, Joffrey's tea, <laughs> um, Joffrey's coffee, and things like that. Now this is a family styled restaurant, meaning it's all you care to enjoy. If you want more rolls, you you can have more rolls. If you want more salad, you can have more salad. Um, and so for the entree here, we are going to be getting roasted turkey, pot roast, oven roasted pork with mashed potatoes, seasonal vegetables, herb stuffing, and house-made mac and cheese. There is also plant-based options if you are a plant-based eater, and there are also allergy-friendly options as well. Pricing-wise, for the guests ages 10 years old and over, it is $42 per person. And for guests ages 9 and under, it is $23 per person which I think is a really great deal because you're getting all you can eat like if you want more mac and cheese which I will probably be doing you can get more mac and cheese and things like that so I really enjoy the salad and the rolls can't go wrong with a garlic herb roll in my opinion and then the salad is super fresh with that cranberries and the apples and also the vinaigrette is very light and fresh as well which I personally really enjoy before you dig into a massive feast all right we have the Patriots platter here where we have roasted turkey 
pot roast and oven roasted pork with mashed potatoes, seasonal vegetables, herb stuffing, house-made macaroni and cheese, and then also a massive boat of gravy. Yum. I've been nibbling on everything and oh my, it is really delicious. I am actually not a big turkey person. Like I'm the person at Thanksgiving that will eat ham versus turkey or I'll eat any of the sides if there's no ham. And that was actually really good to eat. It's really juicy, which I really enjoyed. The pork roast is really good. The oven roasted pork is on the drier side, but also still good. My personal favorite is the mashed potatoes and stuffing and mac and cheese. I am a sides girly when it comes to Thanksgiving. They're the best, in my personal opinion. The green beans are my least favorite, only because it's not because I don't like green beans, because I do, I do eat my green beans. Just there's not a lot of flavor and seasonings to them. If there was more seasonings, I would love them. The mac and cheese is also a really top contender in favorites, and it is so super duper cheesy. There's not spice or anything like that, which helps because if you have kiddos that are coming or a picky eater, that mac and cheese would be perfect for them. And it is like super duper cheesy. Cranberry sauce, love it as well. I'm curious though, what is y'all's favorite Thanksgiving dish, item, you know, tradition or something like that. For me, I'm, I love the stuffing. I also love the mac and cheese. Those are my two favorites. And I wish I was able to go home this year to Kansas to be able to have my parents stuffing, but I will be doing it at home myself this year, which is okay. But I'm thankful for this stuffing right here. I am absolutely stuffed. I was not able to finish everything, but it's okay. You get so much food and I'm just obviously one person and you'll get more how many people uh, you have. This is really, really good. And we're not done yet, guys. We have dessert and there are two different options. There's the ooey gooey toffee cake, which is vanilla toffee cake, chocolate sauce and vanilla ice cream, or they have the plant-based Johnny Appleseed warm apple cake. I grabbed the ooey gooey toffee cake. This is again a vanilla toffee cake, chocolate sauce and vanilla ice cream and it comes in the cutest little cast iron it's not like a real cast iron i promise uh, but kind of like just a little plastic version that it comes in which i really enjoy this looks absolutely delicious are you kidding let's dive in let's get a let's get a cut bite if i can here oh my goodness look at that Wow, stays in your teeth for a while. So it's definitely ooey gooey and it is delicious. It is so good, no complaint here. That was so, 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 so good. Now this is an all year round thing. Like this doesn't obviously have to cater just to Thanksgiving, but if you really enjoy Thanksgiving food in like July, you can come and get Thanksgiving food in July, which I think is super cool. And it was so good and you get it all you, all you want. Like if you want more mac and cheese, more potatoes, you can get more of that, which I think is, uh, it really validates the price point for this restaurant. With all of that said, if you guys want to come check out Liberty Tree Tavern or anything else in Magic Kingdom, please head on over to our friends at Mickey Travels. They are our diamond level travel agency that will be able to book, plan, and make your trip the most magical vacation possible, and they do it all with a free quote. You do not have to pay extra to use Mickey Travels, which I thoroughly enjoy. With all of that said, my name is Miranda, this is Mickey Vlog, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!